Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a super simple bee farm for Minecraft. The item list is in the description below and also over here too, so you can see it easily. With this, you don't need both of these, you only need one of them. Whichever one's easiest for you. Also here, there's a flowering azalea leaf. You can always use other flowers too, and choose whichever one of these you want to if you want to use bottles for honey or shears for honeycomb. If you want to go straight to the tutorial, then you can use the timestamps below. They're in the description and also on a pinned comment too, to make them easier to find. Next, I'm going to go over some additional information about the farm itself. So over here is the bee nest and the beehive. So these two are the items which you can use to transport the bees and also have the bees inside to produce the honey. Now over here we've got the flowers, so these are all the flowers that you can use it with. You can also use with roses, but I don't advise it because it would just kill the bees. This is all the products that you can get from this farm. If you get a honeycomb block, which is a really nice aesthetic block. You can also get candles, which is really, uh, probably one of the best aesthetics in the game. Over here you can get the beehive block, which is actually a really nice looking block too. And you can also wax and unwax copper. The honey block is really good as like an alternative to slime. And also good with slime too, because it doesn't actually stick to slime. So you can use it in really good flying machines and lots of other really useful machines as well. Next I'm going to go through how this farm actually works. So over here is a bee nest. So this bee nest will slowly fill up with honey or honeycomb or whichever one you're actually trying to collect. And how it works is the bees will go out here, they'll start dancing around this flower or flowering azalea and they'll collect pollen. They'll go into here and turn it into honey and then when they exit it will increase the level of the bee nest. The bee nest has up to five levels. When it gets to level 5, you can actually collect the honey. Any lower and you can't, so what we've done here is we're taking a comparison output. So when it gets to here, it's level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, and level 5. So when it gets to level 5, you can actually get the honey. When it's any lower, you can't. So I've got the dispenser over here with bottles in to get the honey. So you can actually take honey out with a dispenser full of bottles, so you can actually get the honey out. And if you want to get honeycomb, then you just fill this up with shears and get the honeycomb out. You, you do have to make sure that the shears don't break though, because they do actually take durability. And the items will be collected in this chest, so you get quite a lot of bottles. So you want to build more than one of these if you want to get lots of bottles or lots of honeycomb. Because it's quite slow if you only have one. Next, I'm going to go on to the tutorial. So first, you're going to need your chest. We're just going to place it on the floor like this. And then you're going to get your hopper. Place it in. Then we're going to need our flowering azalea. Just place it in like this. And if you're using a flower, then just get some dirt and replace this with dirt and put a flower on top, whatever flower you want. If you're using a tall flower, then you're going to need to add an extra block. Then we're going to get a temp block in like this. I'm going to put the glass in like this. Perfect, like this. And I'm going to break this block here. Put a temp block here. And we're going to put a normal block here. Now, if you want to, you can put your bee nest in here, but make sure there's actually bees inside the bee nest, otherwise this farm won't work. If you're going to bring them up in here, then make sure there's at least two bees in the bee nest to make it easier. Then we're going to get a temp block. We're going to put it down here and a normal block here. We're going to get a home parator up here. Then we're going to get a dispenser in like this. Add a block here and here and a block over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get a slab, a temporary block here, a slab here. Put some redstone all the way up here like this. And that should be farm done. Then you can put some bottles in here. So if I prefer filling it all the way up with bottles. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you don't want the bottles, if you want to get a honeycomb, then you can put the shears in like this and get honeycomb instead. Now here's an example of this honey farm with normal flowers. So if you want to use normal flowers like this, because I know some people will, because like flowering azaleas aren't always too easy to get a lot of. So if you're using normal flowers, then here's a good example. So this is what it should look like, if it doesn't look like this, then you've probably done it a little bit wrong. But here's it with normal flowers, so I've got the shears, and I've also got the bottles. If you need any help with any farms or any redstone or whatsoever, then join my Discord server, because I can help you that way. Or you can even comment down below, even though I'm not able to see that as easily. So, if you need lots of help, or like, you just need help straight away, then join my Discord server, because I'll be able to help you pretty much straight away. Unless I'm asleep. But, anyway, I'll be able to help you, and also, if you want to, you can subscribe, but I don't really mind, really, because, like, subscribing is more your choice, because it affects you more, because you'll be able to see my videos and stuff like that. But you can subscribe if you like this sort of content. And also leave a like, too. Leaving a like is probably the best thing you could do, because then this video will get suggested more. And it also shows your appreciation to my content and stuff like that, and kind of shows that you enjoy this sort of stuff, and helps you find what sort of content people like. So leaving a like actually really helps in that purpose. And I'll see you in the next video if you're going to watch any more of my videos, and goodbye.